Welcome to another video, I walk on the wild side. And I've got another driving video for you today. I'm heading down Whitegate Drive in Blackpool, just going past where the old Elmsley Girls School used to be on, on the left hand side there. I'm heading south and I'm heading out of Blackpool. So I thought I'd do a driving video heading out of Blackpool along the back road. I have done a video heading into Blackpool where I came down the motorway and I showed you the tower, the first view of the tower. So I'll put a link to that one at the end of this one. But we're heading along Whitegate Drive, which is an old road. The tram tracks used to come down here and they used to go into sheds just on the left hand side here. You see where that Tesco garage is there? That's where the old tram sheds used to go. That's where the, the tram sheds used to be. Uh, there's a saddle pub, by the way. Yeah, the saddle. The oldest pub in Blackpool. There you go, the Saddle Pub there. We're coming up to Oxford Square, a major junction. Massive signpost here now. I'm going to take a left here onto Preston New Road. That's the, the old way into Blackpool. It's called Preston New Road, probably because it leads to Preston. Um, so there you go. But we're going to go, we're going to head towards Kirkham. That's where we're going, folks. We're going to Kirkham, the market town of Kirkham. So we're heading out of Blackpool now. And uh, some quite big houses down Preston New Road. Before the motorway was built, this will have been the main route into Blackpool. There's the Clarence pub on the right hand side. It's a 30 mile an hour speed limit along here, by the way, so you've got to be careful if you're coming down this road, don't, don't go too fast, because there are speed cameras up and down here. There's one just up here. Now, we're coming up to Fat Man's Corner. Fat Man's Corner is where there used to be a bakery, there used to be a bakery there back in the olden days, a bit before my time actually, I think, I don't remember the bakery, but there also used to be the evening, oh, Ready Fusion, should I say, Telefusion, Telefusion, sorry, see on the right hand side, here we've got McDonald's, that's where the bakery was there, McDonald's, and if you look to the immediate right there, that's where the Telefusion building used to be, it was a curved building, it went round that corner there, and they hired out TVs. Remember when you used to go to Rumblos to hire a TV? You know, now you can just buy one from Asta, can't you? <laughs> just do your shopping and buy a TV. We used to have to rent them back in the olden days and Telefusion was a TV rental company and that's where they were, right there, yeah. Yeah, and now we've got McDonald's. Oh, that became, it later became the Evening Gazette headquarters as well, the Telefusion building, before it was knocked down. And then they put the um, the KFC in there and Blockbuster Video as well. <laughs> well, that didn't last. Uh, that didn't last, did it? Blockbuster Video, yeah, that's not there anymore. Um, they also put a Pizza Hut in there as well, and that's gone now. So there's only the KFC there in that section there because they also had a dessert place as well, which is not there now. So it's just a KFC on that side at the moment, folks. Yeah, so there you go, that was Batman's Corner. And just along here somewhere, I might have gone past it, uh, there's a mile marker. If you, uh, oh, it's just here, there's a speed cam on the right hand side for you coming in. Can you see, left hand side now, mile marker, just before the for sale sign. There you go, an old mile marker there. Uh, some quite swanky properties along, along here. Yeah, some quite big houses with big gardens, but we're now coming up to the edge of Blackpool on the east side, uh, we've got the Mearside Estate on the right hand side, you probably can't really see it, but on the left hand side used to be Premium Bonds, Ernie, the big black and white building, you know that big, um, oh it was like very futuristic looking building, black and white tower, I think you couldn't miss it, it was one of the, it was one of the iconic buildings that you could see when you're coming into Blackpool, it was almost like you know, you see the tower, of course, but that was a very, very recognisable building when you were coming into Blackpool, the Premium Bonds building, and it was where the random number generator was as well. We've just gone past a junction there where if I was to turn left, it would take us down to the village of Staining and Wheaton. But we're just going past the harbour on the left-hand side, 
that's a mental health facility. On the right hand side we've got Martin Windmill which unfortunately has lost part of its sail. Yeah, unfortunately the sails broke off on there. But Mearside <coughs> is still there on the right hand side. We've got some new properties which look quite fancy actually. The speed limit's gone up to 40 here by the way. So we might just be able to just catch those new properties on the right hand side. They've just been, they used to have some old flats there which they knocked down and built those new ones. Glasdon's on the right hand side. Gla uh, plastics manufacturer, they make the bins for Blackpool. Anything to do with plastic, Glasdon, that's what Glasdon do. It's a massive, um, it's a massive firm. Now, we're just coming up to the motorway now, but I'm not going down the motorway. I'm going to continue around here. This is Martin Circle. So that's down to the motorway on the left hand side there. But we're going round this way. We're heading towards the market town of Kirkham. It's just a short drive down the road from Blackpool. I'll take you the scenic route. We're going to go past White Hills Industrial Estate. So we've got a B and Q on the right hand side. Welcome to the borough of Fylde, a fair trade borough. It says Westby with Plumptons. That's where we are now. We're actually in Westby with Plumptons. We're not in Blackpool anymore. We've just driven over the border. So if I was to turn right here, we could go towards B and Q. We could head back into Blackpool towards the south, but I'm not going that way. We're going to head past the BMW garage, massive BMW garage. It used to be Derek Woodman's when it was in Blackpool. Derek Woodman, BMW. It's now, I think it's Lloyd's. Is it Lloyd's? Yeah. Well, there's another one there, Lloyd's. Lloyd's used cars on the corner there. But we're now heading out now on the A583. Blackpool Preston Road. And we're heading towards Kirkham. So this is the scenic route. Um, we're just going past some the caravan sites on the left hand side there. I'll just, just do the windows up, get a bit noisy. Another caravan site there. Carbridge caravan site. On the left hand side we've got um, is it Maple Farm Nurseries if you want some plants. There's a nice nursery there, hidden round the back there. And that's the world of water. It used to be Wyvale Garden Centre, that Wyvale. I think it was originally Wyvale Garden Centre, but it's now water we're filed Water World. So we're now out in the sticks now, folks. Look at this. Whoa. We go a bit faster as well. There is a, a speed camera over there, or should I say traffic safety camera. Uh, I don't think it works that one, but I wouldn't want to uh, I wouldn't want to try it. This also leads towards Ray Green, which I've done a video on as well. Ray Green is just up this way. The next junction. Oh, we're really in the, we're really in the sticks here now. I wonder how long that this will all remain green for. By the way, just on the left hand side, we just went past the entrance, the main entrance to the fracking site, the Cadrilla fracking site on, on the left hand side we've just gone past it will they be coming back to start again to start fracking again just outside Blackpool we had earthquakes going off last time yeah my house shook yeah what do you think folks do we need fracking or is it better to uh, stick to building more windmills <laughs> so yeah we're still in the, the area of Plumpton, Westby and Plumpton, that's, that, there's a lane there called Plumpton Lane. Oh, but look at all these fields, wow. The trees will be coming out in uh, leaf soon as well, they just start the budding now. So I'm filming this early April, just in case you're watching it at some other time. But we're heading towards the crossroads now, and this crossroads now is where, if you were to turn right, it would take you to Ray Green. And also, if you were to carry on, you could go through Ray Green and get to the village of Wharton, which is where the BAE Systems uh, place is. So that's where they build the Typhoon. See, you see the sign here, Ray Green and Wharton, turn right. Turn left to get to Singleton. But we're gonna go straight on towards Kirkham.
So the fields are actually coming out. We've got the rapeseed fields coming out. You might just be able to see on the left hand side there. Not sure if you can see that yellow. That'll look nice when those come out. Uh, just up here on the right hand side is a big firm that are called, I can't remember the name now, Waring. That's it, Waring. They build, they build farm structures. They were based somewhere else, but they've moved out here. Jay Waring and Son, Ray Green. Agricultural and Industrial Building. Buildings, that's what they do, yeah. So, uh, we're not too far from Kirkham now. The next um, roundabout will be pretty much heading in. We're just going over a bridge here. There's a bridge there. Not sure if it's like a little stream or or what that, that goes under there. There's some new houses on the left hand side here. All these houses on the left hand side have appeared in about the last, well certainly within the last decade. But it's really built up in the last few years. Massive Howden estate on the left hand side. So we're just coming up to the junction now. If I was to turn left I could get back to the motorway or I could continue towards Fleetwood but we're going to head on you can also use this roundabout to get to Ray Green as well it's just another way to get to Ray Green so we're going to head up this way like I say if I carried on this road for another 15 minutes I'd get to Preston they do have average speed cameras up here as well. Can you, I don't know if you can see that. They've got one over there. Look, that's an average speed camera. They're fairly recent, those. They didn't used to have those a few years ago. But we're just coming into Kirkham now. Look at this now. Northwest, Northwest in bloom. Doesn't it look pretty? Yeah, look at these plants here. That's the grammar school there. Kirkham Grammar School. Look at that. Wow. Kirkham. That's the grammar school. That is massive it looks very impressive it's got like a virginia creeper on the front as well a grammar school yeah you don't really hear about grammar schools now really do you i um was wondering whether grammar schools were i don't know whether they're trying to get rid of them or so i think they should bring them back i think that grammar has taken a bit of a nosedive in the last uh know, few few decades and uh I think with all this texting and, and all that sort of thing, people are not quite uh, using the, the the grammar that they use. My auntie Hilda was a grammar teacher, and she'd be she'd turn over in a grave if she uh, <laughs> saw the way that people write stuff these days. But we're coming down into Kirkham now. It's a bit hilly. Yeah, we're uh, just coming down this bit of a hill now, and the main road, the main drag goes up a hill so this is Kirkham folks straight on here if you want to turn left that takes you to Wesham there's a little village or a little town so to say called Wesham they're both sort of welded together but this is Kirkham the main drag Morrison's is on our left there we've just gone past a church the United Reformed Church so I have been to Kirkham before so I'll I'll put a link to that in the description but yeah, uh, Mayman, Mayman's Family Butchers. What's this? The original like factory store, pound stretcher, the old bank there. Looks like a restaurant, doing a lot of road works here. We're coming up to the Market Square. So that was a drive out of Blackpool, folks. Oh no, they've dug up the mark. They, they've dug it all up. The square, they've dug it up, folks. I can't believe it. Look at this. So there you go, that was a drive out of Blackpool towards Kirkham. And I'm just going to head up here now, and uh, this will be the end of this video. We're just going to finish it at this church up here. This church is, I can't see the name of it at the moment, but um, I did show it on my Kirkham video. So there you go, how about that? St Michael's Church, Kirkham. There you go, folks. That was a drive out of Blackpool towards the market town of Kirkham. There you go. I hope you like this video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one. Oh, it looks like I'm going into a bit of a <laughs> private road down here. Oh, where does this road lead to? Oh, well, bit of a cliffhanger, folks.